Hello everyone, I'm Steve Wihara. These are your top stories. A man is in critical condition after a hit and run in Kalihi. This happened around 11 o'clock last night on North King Street near the U.S. Postal Service. According to HPD, a man in his late 40s was riding a bicycle and was struck by a vehicle. Police say the driver left the scene without stopping to help. EMS says the victim suffered injuries to his head and to his left leg. At this time, it is not known if speed, alcohol or drugs were factors in the crash. Police are still investigating. A two-alarm fire broke out at a 40-story building overnight. This happened at the Yacht Harbor Towers near Ala Moana Center around 12.20 a.m. Fire officials say that flames were found in the trash compactor located in the basement of the building. Crews fully extinguished that fire around 1.20 this morning. No injuries have been reported. Starting today on Maui, officials will temporarily close Baldwin Beach Park. It's to allow for the removal of crownless palm trees from the park. Crews expect the project to take crews two days to complete. The park is anticipated, therefore, to reopen in time for the weekend on Saturday. Also happening today on Maui, a water service outage will affect customers in Pukalani. About 300 customers will be impacted along Old Haleakala Highway from 9 p.m. tonight until 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Crews will be relocating to fire hydrants on the sidewalk. How's it going? We're going to see drier weather today. However, because that front is dropping closer to Kauai, the Garden Island could see a few showers, but nothing major. And you can see it's going to be much drier for the east end of the state. And the winds will slow down. Yesterday, they were running at, uh, you know, steady levels, but they'll be down to about 5 to 15 today. So it's going to be a nice Thursday with lots of sunshine, especially for the east end of the state. Again, Kauai expected to get a few showers this morning. Even for them, things are going to dry up. And the winds will slow down a notch from yesterday, 10 to 20 to 5 to 15 today. But they'll continue to come out of the southwest. And because of that, there might be a tinge of fog and haze in the air. It might be a little bit humid at times. Now, as far as the surf, it's going to be small island-wide. Heads up, box jellyfish expected to swim in again today for South Shore. So check with lifeguards before jumping in. And North Shores eh, might have some shoulder-high sets. But keep in mind, we're expecting an advisory level swell close to it sometime over the weekend.